Welcome to the PR Maven podcast, a podcast all about growing your network and building your brand through traditional and digital networking techniques. I'm Nancy Marshall, the PR Maven and CEO of Marshall Communications. Stay tuned for this week's episode and thanks for listening. Welcome PR Maven Nation to this week's episode one of our mini episodes, a quick and informative look at how LinkedIn can help you build your network and your brand. The podcast is presented by Marshall Communications, creator of the 65-step Marshall Plan process. For more information, visit marshallpr.com and on the website under PR Maven, you will also find information about my two books, PR Works and Grow Your Audience, Grow Your Brand. This week, I'll be sharing my Forbes Agency Council article entitled, How LinkedIn Can Help You Build Your Network and Your Brand. So let's dive right in. To become successful in business, you have to think beyond hiring employees or hitting sales numbers. You have to build a brand, both in person and online. As Jeff Bezos put it, a brand for a company is like a reputation for a person. In other words, it means everything. It goes beyond a logo, a tagline, or even a name. It's how people think, and more important, how they feel about you or your organization. Strengthening your personal brand also enhances your company's brand. When you think of a company, you often think about the people leading it, the human stories that make a company what it is. Consider Apple. What would it be without the story of Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak's world-changing work in a California garage? I believe that much of the Apple brand today has to do with the mystique of their creativity in that garage so many years ago. So how do you build your brand like Jobs and Wozniak did? According to Virgin Group founder Richard Branson, branding demands commitment namely striking chords with people to stir their emotions. He's right. The way I look at it, the larger your network becomes and the more people who know of your company, the more powerful your brand will be. Networking is integral to branding because your brand essentially comes down to how many people know, like, and trust you. You want them to view you in the most positive light and to think of you first when they need something you have to offer. The key to building your brand, therefore, is to expand your network. This often requires time and effort on a daily basis to connect people virtually and in the real world face-to-face. You can't strike chords with people by taking shortcuts. You simply won't get away with it. People can sniff out someone who isn't authentic. They can also sniff out someone who shows up the same in person as they do online. Fortunately, social media has made it easier than ever to build a brand, even without in-person contact. This isn't to say that such contact no longer matters, because it does. But social media platforms have provided us with a viable alternative and supplement to traditional networking. I always tell people that they should seek personal contact to supplement online connections. If you connect with someone online, seek an opportunity to meet in person. And if you know each other in person, connect online to extend the relationship. To that end, I believe that LinkedIn may be the best place to build your personal brand. Among professionals, there doesn't seem to be a better option. As reported by Search Engine Journal, LinkedIn has more than 600 million members worldwide. Nearly half of them visit the site daily. More than 60 million of them are senior level influencers, while 40 million claim to be in decision-making positions. That's quite the target audience. LinkedIn is filled with highly competent people who are ready to consume your content. Approximately 45% of those who read LinkedIn articles are in upper level roles. In my experience, such users tend to trust the platform's adherence to professionalism. Use this to your advantage. LinkedIn may not prioritize immediate responses like other social media platforms such as Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, but what it lacks in immediacy, it makes up for in high level content. 
and high-level consumers of that content. If you write articles or link to your press releases on an ongoing basis, that content will accumulate over time to tell your brand story. LinkedIn also allows you to position yourself as an authority in your field, a thought leader who deserves other people's utmost attention. Whether you're an expert on public relations or marketing or something else entirely, LinkedIn may be the best platform that's best suited to differentiate yourself from others. And yes, everyone is an expert on something. You just have to find out what that is. I recently interviewed a LinkedIn coach and personal brand strategist on my podcast, and she emphasized the deep connection between storytelling and branding. As she explains it, her goal is to identify an individual's slice of life story and then use LinkedIn to promote that story to the masses. Whether you're a CEO or a Fortune 500 company, a professional athlete, or a Maine lobsterman, everyone has a story. More importantly, everyone has a story worth telling. It's time to tell it on LinkedIn. One way to start is by writing your own summary section that encapsulates what you want your brand to be. The summary section gives you the running room needed to flesh out your brand and highlight the keywords and phrases that a Google search will pick up. Ask yourself, what differentiates me? What do I want Google to pick up about me? Your target audience is ready for you on LinkedIn. So start building your network and your brand. For more insight, get access to my latest book, Grow Your Audience, Grow Your Brand, by visiting prmaven.com giveaway and download a free copy today. And here is my friend, Mike Duguay, to share how PR works and grow your audience, grow your brand have helped him. After reading PR works, I really started to think about how marketing actually works. And I know that sounds a little bit ridiculous, but what I realized is what each platform nowadays that we use out there in digital media and social media has its own nuance and also quirks to it. And understanding how they're used is exceedingly important. Because when you have a hammer in your hand, everything looks like a nail and you can't approach it that way in marketing. And that's where I think Nancy's brilliance really shined in, in PR works. I think Grow Your Audience, Grow Your Brand is, is really sort of the manifesto of understanding that there's many different levels to marketing. It's on your personal side of your brand, how actually you ex express yourself through business, but also what people hear you saying and what they see out there in the public eye as well. So I think what's really important there, that's really the blueprint of how you go about using these new social media platforms, but also to express who you are as a human being. Because people want to see you authentically and genuinely working with what not only what you do, but also with the customers. And Nancy, on a personal level, I think she just, she, that's who she is. She embodies that approach. Thanks for listening to this episode of the PR Maven podcast. I invite you to share a review of the podcast on iTunes or your favorite podcast player. Be sure to subscribe to our podcast so you never miss an episode. You can also join the PR Maven Nation on Facebook. It's free to join and it's a great community of like-minded individuals who are all looking to learn and grow from one another. If you use an Alexa device, use your Alexa app to search the skills and games section to find and enable the PR Maven podcast flash briefing. This will give you access to exclusive content and more PR and marketing advice. Thanks again for listening and have a great rest of your week, PR Maven Nation.